Hello everybody and welcome to another session of Scuba Talk. This week we're going to be talking about how we should be hanging our gear when we want it to dry and what's some of the best ways to get them uh, to dry especially if we're on vacation and we want it to dry the next day. Okay, we'll be right back. So I get uh, a lot of questions about, you know, the proper way to hang my BCD, the proper way to hang my wetsuit, uh, my boots, my gloves, and things of that nature. And the biggest complaint I get is, well, I use a regular hanger that I have at home, and everything just slides off. I can't make it uh, hang or fit the hanger. Well, there are several uh, hangers out there that you can buy uh, to hang your gear. And I like the idea of buying specific hangers for my specific gear because as I let it dry, when I go to pack for my next dive trip or if I'm diving the next day, I know right where all my gear is. And it's easier, I have it all, it's, nothing's going to be left behind. Okay, So we're just going to start off with uh, some of the simple uh, hangers that you can buy. Now, if you go to your local dive shop or in your favorite dive shop and they don't have specific hangers, you can try uh, Trident. Uh, they're one big manufacturer. Uh, there's another one out there as well. I just don't know the name of it uh, on the top of my head. And you can look them up. You can see what hanger or whatever uh, device you have and probably have your, your dive shop order for you. Uh, that would probably be the best way to go if your local dive shop uh, doesn't have it for you. So uh, let's start off with the first hanger that I use that I always recommend. And let me get to the side. It's this type of hanger, okay? Um, the reason I like this hanger is for the simple fact that I can put my boots here, and this holds open the boot so air can get up in there and dry out my boots. I have a place for gloves, so one on each side. I got a boot on each side. I can hang my fins on each side here. They'll hang down, okay? I even have a place where I can hook my mask and let my mask hang and, and dry. So this is a pretty unique hanger. It's really built sturdy. It's real thick plastic. Um, so it's not gonna bend, it's not gonna break on you because um, that's, that's what it's made for, okay? This one also comes in several different styles. You can get it uh, where you can hang your fins on it and your mask. Or you can buy this type. Okay, this will allow you to put a boot on each side, your gloves on each side, and then it's got a place here for a hood. You just lay your hood up in there and now your hood will dry. and It'll be good to go by the next morning. Uh, when you want to go do your dive, okay? Again, it's really thick plastic, good sturdy plastic. These are only, uh, I'm guessing, five to, to ten bucks, uh, something like that. Um, I'm not quite sure, okay? The next hanger I want to show you, uh, it's made for, you can use it for a wetsuit, you can use it for uh, possibly a dry suit. Uh, I use it for my wetsuit. Uh, it's just a big hanger. It's got the nice shape here, so uh, like on a regular hanger, it's not going to uh, uh, misshape my, my wetsuit as it dries. It's big. It's going to help hold it open so air can get in there and dry. Again, it's built out of thick plastic, so it's not going to break. It's not going to bend. It's not going to do a lot of things that uh, a home uh, hanger would do that's kind of made for your shirt, okay? or a pair of pants. This is going to be nice and sturdy, okay, and this is a really good hanger, okay. Another hanger for a wetsuit is this type, okay. You can uh, put your wetsuit on here, it's got the nice shape to it, okay, and, and uh, it'll, it'll keep the shape of your wetsuit. 
it'll hold it open, allow it to dry. Okay. The uh, bottom here, you can probably stick a boot on here if you want, a glove on here if you want. Uh, you can even put your regulator on there to let your uh, regulator hang when you're not using it for for your wetsuit. Okay. So this has multiple options. I would not use this for a VCD because it's got the slope, okay, and the straps are going to fall off, okay. So this is pretty much just for your, your wetsuit, okay. Then talking about the VCD, here's a hanger that you would want to use for your VCD because it's got these uh, uh, edges on it that's going to help hold the straps so your VC can hang and dry. Okay, again, really thick plastic, it's not going to bend, it's not going to twist, very sturdy, okay, it's a great way to, to let your uh, BCD hang and dry, okay. Then the other hanger uh, that I wanted to show you guys uh, is for a dry suit, uh, <laughs> looks really weird, uh, as you can see, you're thinking, oh my gosh, what in the world, but this hanger is one that if I'm going to go uh, on a trip and I'm taking my dry suit with me, uh, I would try to get this packed. This hanger will come apart, okay, and I can put that in and pack it. Uh, what's really great about this is most uh, dry suits uh, have their boots mounted uh, as part of the dry suit. And so I can just take the boots and I can slide them in right here and hang this up high, like in the shower uh, of our uh, room or wherever we're at, okay? And I can just hang it there, and, and this will dry, okay? It hangs upside down, so if there's any condensation or any moisture inside the wetsuit, it'll uh, drain it out, and it the bottom will stay open, so air can get in there and dry it out. So I'm ready to go the next morning or the next day for uh, my dives. So that's, those are some of the options that you can have. You can certainly try, uh, you know, the, the hangers you have at home, but uh, sooner or later they're going to start putting wear and tear on your wetsuit, on your uh, gear. Um, and, and it can lead, I'm not going to say it is, but it can lead to, you know, misshape. And just remember, when your stuff starts getting out of shape, it's your body that's going to put it back in shape, right, as you put it on. So just be, be leery of that. Um, like I say, I get asked a lot of questions about different hangers and how to do different things. These are the most basic, uh, most simplest way um, to do it. They're relatively pretty cheap. Um, like I say, I think most of them are, are anywhere from 5 to $10. Uh, and you certainly don't need all these, maybe one or two, and you know that should do it for you. Um, if you have any other questions or, or comments on how you hang your dive gear or how you dry your dive gear, uh, please leave a, leave it uh, in the comment section down below. And if these videos seem to help you or if you like the content that we're putting out, please leave a comment. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and and. Uh, Hit the uh, uh, like button for us and uh, ring the bell for notifications. And uh, we'll let you know when more content becomes available. For now, this is Scuba Dave for Scuba Talk. Have fun, be safe, and keep diving.